Welcome back to Fast Cabling Tech Enthusiasts. Today, we are diving into the world of lightning fast networking with a focus on 10G infrastructure. Why it's crucial for modern setup and how you can make the most out of it using a 10G media converter with the dual SFP Plus port. And whether you're upgrading a home lab, managing a small business network, or optimizing a data center, stick around because this video is for you. And if you get any questions about your tech setup, network configuration, or any other tech related issues, we are offering free tech consultation to help you solve your tech problems and get the most out of your system. So just click the link down in the description box below to schedule your free consultation today. So in today's data-driven world, the demand for faster, more reliable networks is skyrocketing. From streaming 4K content and online gaming to handling massive data transfer in cooperate environments. So 10G networks have become the backbone of modern infrastructure. And that's where our star of the show comes in. This is the 10G fiber media converter with dual uplink SFP Plus port. This compact but mighty device is designed to bridge the gap between different network types and speed, ensuring your data flows smoothly and efficiently. So let's break it down. This converter features dual SFP Plus port which support 10G connection, ideal for those who need high data throughput and minimal latency. And this port can be used to create a 10G backbone for your network, making it possible to move large amount of data quickly and reliably. So now, what makes this converter really versatile is its potential in hybrid networks. Now you can combine different speeds like 2.5G and 10G thanks to its intelligent design. So imagine connecting several 2.5G devices and having them all seamlessly funnel their traffic into a blazing fast 10G networks. And next, let's explore a couple of scenarios where this converter shines. So we have the classic star topology. Picture this, you've got multiple 2.5G devices, let's say a mix of Wi-Fi 6 SS points and high performance PCs, and each needing quick access to your network. And with the media converter, now you can direct all the traffic to a central 10G backbone, ensuring efficient data flow with minimal bottlenecks. And in this setup, the media converter acts as the central hub, optimizing traffic and boosting overall network performance. And let's talk redundancy, a must-have for any data center or critical network setup. So by using our dual SFP Plus port, you can establish a redundant link, providing a backup if the primary connection fails, and this setup ensures zero downtime and keeps your network running smoothly, even in event of the outage. And this kind of reliability is crucial when you cannot afford any interruption in service. So now that we've covered the why and let's get into how, and we'll walk you through the installation process step by step so you can get your 10G network up and running without a hitch. So now we're in front of the demonstration board and let's walk through the setup together. Let's pretend we're at our control room. and We have the router here. Let's connect it to our 24 port manage switch. And then we're going to connect to our 10G SFP Plus link. We need to insert the SFP module and connect to the fiber optic cable. But here's a pro tip. When choosing your SFP module, make sure they are rated for 10G because this is the key to achieving the speeds that you need. So let's insert it into the SFP Plus port and then connect to our fiber optic cable. And remember, there are different types of fiber, single mode and multi mode. Make sure your modules and cables are compatible. And today we are using this four string single mode LC connector fiber optic cable. And on each string, it has labor. So let's use 
string A. Plug it into our SFP Plus module. And speaking of cables, here's a quick tip. Make sure you use a pre-made fiber optic cable because it can save you time and hassle. And when it comes to cable management, keep it tidy because this not only looks better, but also helps prevent any signal interference. So let's move on. Here you can see our 2.5G device, which is the Wi-Fi 6 SS point. We're going to use an Ethernet cable to connect to our 2.5G RJ45 port of our media converter. And we're going to connect to our SFP Plus module and use the fiber optic cable to form a 10G network. And remember, we used string A. Let's plug it in. And then I'm going to use another Ethernet cable to connect to our RJ45 port to our 2.5G computer. Now, when you place your media converter, whether it's on a rack or desktop, make sure it's secure and accessible. So our setup is pretty much done. And if you're looking to take things to the next level with higher security and efficiency, it is time to dive into the web smart management feature and let's access the web interface and explore more configurations. So step one, accessing the web interface. Just simply enter the converter's IP address into your browser and you're in. Under system setting, we can see all the basic configuration. Here you can set up your IP configurations and also manage ports. And this is essential for tailoring the network to your specific need. And under the switch setting, we can see VLAN, quality of service and under security we can see the MAT address and those features can prioritize traffic and this is especially helpful if you're having specific applications like streaming, gaming or cloud computing that require guarantee bandwidth. So with the web smart management, you can fine tune your network to ensure it's running at peak performance, no matter what you throw at it. And there you have it. With our 10G media converter, now you've got the tools to supercharge your network. Whether you're upgrading your home setup, managing a business, or keeping a data center online. And if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your tech savvy fan, and also subscribe for more tech tutorial and reviews. And thank you very much for joining us. Until next time, keep your network fast and your data flowing.